I've been talking to your parents. They tell me that your attitude is pretty much that you're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it, and there's not anything they can really do about it. So there's not much point in being here, right? We should just shut this down and, and head out. Do you want to answer that question? Okay, let me, let me let you hear this. In about 15 minutes, you're going to be begging to talk to me. Because in about 15 minutes, your options are going to get zero, girl. In about 15 minutes, you're going to go, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. I'm sorry, I want to talk to you, because I don't want to do what's getting ready to happen. I want to talk to you. And you know what's going to happen when you do? I'm going to have moved on to the next thing, and it's going to be too late. So if you want to talk to me, you need to talk to me right now, because in 15 minutes, you're going to really want to talk to me to try to negotiate getting out of what's getting ready to happen. And I'm giving you a chance to do it right now. And if you want to do it, you got 10 seconds to sit down and talk to me. And if you don't, you're not going to believe what happens next. I just want to go so home. So take it or leave it. I want to go home. Well, that's not an option. Because there are going to be a lot of things happen. Going home ain't one of them. Why? So you want to talk to me, put on a mic and sit down and talk to me. And if you don't, I'm out. Take it or leave it. I don't care. I'm not your parents. Okay, gotcha. So, understand, I gave you a chance. And you're declining to talk to me, correct? Because I just want to go home. I don't know what's about to happen. Do you understand? I gave you a chance to talk to me. You sit down and talk to me or don't. This is your last chance. If I sit down and talk, will you tell me what's about to happen? Because I want to go home. You don't tell me what I'm going to tell you or don't. If you will sit down and talk to me, you sit down and talk to me, you answer my questions or you don't. But I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'll tell you what I want you to know. That's what you get to hear. You don't manipulate me. You want to talk to me, you sit down and talk to me. If you don't, don't. I don't care whether you do or you don't. I'm just telling you, 15 minutes from now, you're going to be begging to talk to me, and it's going to be too late. Are you pregnant? Yeah. But that's not something I want to talk about. Well, I do want to talk about it, because I have a duty to that child. And later. And now, you don't have just yourself to consider, you've got your unborn child to consider. And that includes prenatal visits. First off, we need to find out if she's pregnant. She needs to take a pregnancy test. She needs to take it today. Tomorrow, falsely convicted of murder. Amanda Knox. And was Foxy Noxy the monster? When they pronounced guilty, the world crumbled beneath me. Thrown in a foreign prison. I was hit. I was screamed at. Has it changed you forever? They took my freedom. They couldn't take who I was. Now she helps others who claim wrongful conviction. The police knew who did this, and yet they went after the wrong person anyway. Tomorrow, then on Wednesday, twerking, tanning, lashes, brows. This is what it takes to be bad and bougie. He'll do and steal anything. What happened, Dr. Phil? You allowed him to steal from you to the point that you lost your home? That's her problem, not my problem. Are you willing to go home and sell everything that he bought with this stolen money? No, I'm not walking around naked. They'll give you a jumpsuit in prison. New Dr. Phil, Wednesday. I'm just telling you, 15 minutes from now, you're going to be begging to talk to me, and it's going to be too late. All right, I'll talk.